Shut up and sit down. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Shift, the first episode of 2022. It's episode 279. I, of course, am your host. I'm still here. I'm still alive. I'm still making it. I am the greatest man who's ever lived. Your funky leader. I am the best. It's me. It's Matt. The, how, man, you know, I am so great and so awesome. I should just talk about that. You know, that's the new topic of the show. I'm not doing resolutions. How great is Matt? He's pretty damn great. I guess that's got it covered, though. So with me, as always... It's my buddy Eric, the light bearer, the light bringer, the light bear bringer, the beastmaster, third shift. He's here to tell you, man, we've warned you. We got a lot of stuff to cover because we haven't talked to you in a normal episode in like three or four weeks. So, Eric, how is I guess this month been? How's how's it been going? What's what's shaking? <laughs> hey, how was Christmas, buddy? <laughs> Woo! Wow, where do we even begin? Where do we? I don't know. I don't know. Time is crazy. I don't even know how many weeks have passed since we've actually talked. But I'll tell you this: Christmas, fantastic. You know, man, I got a bunch of weights, you know, bum, 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 work out and do all the things. What's the point of those? Just I know, hold, right? Hold your papers oh, down on your desk. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about <laughs> that. Zing. Man, gosh. So I got that. I got uh, some other stuff and things. Don't remember anymore. Oh, yes, just I a, do. Just a sack of Jim Beam bottles. That's all it was. <laughs> just a sack that's of Jim Beam. That's all I mean. I mean that's all you should give me forever. Just tons of them. Just <laughs> so I can hide them in every single rafter of my house. Just mm-hmm. so it never stops. Just never stops. That's the way I survive. That's the way. And we're going to get more into that. Because God Almighty, I'll tell you. But before we do, I did get my graphics card. As Matt let y'all know, last time I was talking about skinning all those idiot Bitcoin fools out there, ruining everybody's lives, ruining everybody's world. I was going to take pieces of their flesh, I was going to put it onto the old graphics cards, and I was going to send them to people. Well, I'm not going to do any of that anymore, because I got mine. So I'm out of the race, folks. I'm sorry. Somebody else is going to have to step up to the plate. I got my card. I popped it into the PC. Got all the drivers downloaded. Did what I needed to do. This thing... Man, she's purring like a kitten. She plays all the greatest games, Matt. I mean, it's just like poop, 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 poop. It's night and day difference. It's so ridiculous what that graphics card will do to help that computer chug and move and do what it needs to do. So, very happy with it. I'm excited to get in there and play some more PC games slash Xbox Game Pass games. One of which was Inscription, which I didn't put on my little list here. But I did play. I got Inscription going, played about two or three hours of that. Um, The night I was playing it was one of the weekend nights, so I was having some beers, you know, and I got to the point where I was just like, okay, you know, getting too tough for me to play and keep this going and know what the heck's going on. So I shut it off. So Inscription has been in there. I went ahead and watched, uh, and and you'll probably talk about too, Encanto with the family. Yeah. I had a good time with that movie. I thought it was fun. It's kind of, like, divisive. I see, like, some people saying, a lot of fun, great movie. I see some people saying, oh, man, songs, et cetera, were kind of terabad, not that great. And I'm like, I don't know. I I really enjoyed this one, actually. I loved it when I watched it. I was kind of in a movie funk. Uh And for some reason, it just kept sticking in my head. Like, hey, you know, that was at Regal not too long ago. And that was one of those ones where, like, I should go see that. And it just kept sticking in my head, Encanto, Encanto, Encanto. And so now it's on Disney Plus, so I watched it. And I was like, this, th- that first opening scene where you see like the, the, the valley and the house and the girls moving through it, and then it's a big song. And I went, this is exactly what I need right now. And it made me so happy. Like I watched it right before Quarter End started. Uh-huh. And I was like, this is awesome. Singing and dancing and having fun, bright colors and beautiful animation. Uh-huh. Uh, I can't even imagine and fathom how good like the hair and clothing animation is nowadays. Uh-huh. I had no idea. Yeah, like it, it looked great. it looked freaking real. Like the way it hangs and wow. But then as I was watching, I was like, I love these songs. It's a ton of fun, high energy, all this cool stuff. But then I thought, would normal Disney viewers like these songs? And it made me think, probably not, because they like traditional like. Disney songs, you know, ballads and things. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's what it is. But I, I could see people not liking the musical styling, but I loved it. I thought it was great. Yeah, It made me so happy to see this crazy, outlandish, colorful musical. 
I had fun with it. I I didn't expect much from it, but then we watched it and I was, you know, chill and had a good time. I, I was like, hey, yeah. Instead of getting on my laptop and kind of like distractedly watching, I was just sitting there, boom, enraptured with the rest of the family, just chilling out, having a good time. I mean, like the like the big crazy set pieces, like in Luisa's song, when they're like, boom, now it's a crazy weird scene, and then she's like enormous, and like you're sliding down the hill of her bicep and stuff. Mm-hmm. I was like, this is so delightful. It's so colorful, and I'm mean, obviously cartoony, but I was like, man, that's just great. It's just wonderful. Yes, yeah, so Encanto was watched. It was a fun time. Uh, I already told you Christmas was great. Had some cool stuff going on. Uh, what else? You know, quarterings come. And I feel like it's, you know, it's always that time of year. It's always, January's not a great time for uh, your folks here at Third Shift, so. I gotta say, <laughs> I was I was in such a bad mood, though, that I was like, you know what? Maybe we should do the show yesterday, mm-hmm. because today I was expecting it to be like a really bad quarter end day. And I, I thought about yesterday, be like, hey, we should just do the show now, because it's only going to get worse. And I was in a foul, disgusting mood yesterday because of quarter end. And then today, I walked into the most amazing news and the greatest thing. So I'm so glad we're doing it today instead of yesterday when it would have been completely miserable. That's true. But, uh, of course, uh, I, I had the news that I had to run those extra quarter-end jobs. So well, true. while I was yeah. happy, it was good news that it's over, the hot batch stuff. Yeah, It was bad news that I was the one doing it. So I was like... Yay! Oh, dang it, man. I was really hoping to kind of just coast through some cold. But then I found out the cold batch gets the inserts anyway. So it doesn't and, even matter. It's... And it didn't matter. I was under the impression that hot batch was only getting inserts. And this makes no sense for you listening. I'm sorry. It's bullcrap at work. It's ridiculous. But all in all, yes, I was happy to hear that five days over uh, and that the, you know, the, the pressure pressure is gone. We can go ahead and just hope for the volunteers and coast on out into the next week so very good that that's all done game wise over these past weeks i've played persona 5 strikers and beat it i kind of talked about it but i'll let you all know right now that game was beaten had a great time with it fantastic tons of fun awesome locales uh all your favorite characters you got to see what happened from that summer to the end of it new uh new individuals added to the team fantastic the only thing I will say, though, that bugged me was they had all the music of Persona at their fingertips. And they did some great remasters. Don't get me wrong. There's some, like, redone music in there that's superb. But they stuck to, like, five songs for, like, the main things and never switched it up. And I was like, why? You have... 40 50 songs that you could use for all sorts of different things that are available to you from the persona 5 royal or persona 5 regular and instead you just use these same five go-tos as your like general music and i'm like come on man i mean it was still great but you could have just gone buck wild with this and really put it out there and i don't get that either because even in the very small bit that i played of it i got that feeling too well, I'm, I mean, I guess it's a little bit different because you don't have like the different day versions. Because mm-hmm. in Persona 5, you're going through all these different days. And hey, it's a rainy day, so the music is a little bit different. Hey, it's a snowy day. It's different here. Hey, it's sunny, so it's lively and blah, blah, blah. Whereas you just have the same day because you the day doesn't progress when you leave the dungeon. You know the whole thing. Mm-hmm. But I got I got that impression too of just like, hey, it's just kind of the same thing again and again and again and again. I don't know. That's weird. I guess I'm sad to learn that it doesn't like ramp up later and and start changing and being wild and crazy. Like I said, the different locales will have their own beats, so you'll be happy about that. But whenever you're like in the uh, the van or whenever you're doing like the the general like, oh, we got to do our detective work and figure out what's going on. It's always the same riffs over and over and over. And I'm like, you you could have changed it. You really could have changed it up. So that was my only real gripe with it besides early on when we were complaining about learning how to play this new game that's Persona but isn't Persona. Had a good time with it. It is somewhere in my games list. So if you haven't listened to that episode, go check it out. You might hear about it. Of course, I also beat Scarlet Nexus. As I said, went into that one. Oh, I'm at the last boss. 
this is where I am. I'm I'm literally at the last boss. This is where I left off because I'm an idiot. Why would I have done this to myself? Why have I not done this and just finished it when I was hot on Scarlet Nexus? I don't know. So I had to spend four or five attempts one night going through, failing. Then I spent another day going through and finally made it. Finally beat the end boss. Got the whole storyline. And it ended nice. It ended in your typical JRPG. Yeah, you know, you're not going to get anything new out of this. It's not going to be like, oh my gosh, you blew my mind. You're going to get the story you would imagine you're going to get out of the end of a, a, a traditional RPG. It was good. It was fun. I'm glad it ended, and I'm glad I played it, but nothing, like, mind-blowing. I enjoyed it, yes. It was fun. And, of course, I picked up uh, the gunk. Now, I think I'm at the very end of this game. I'm, like, maybe... Uh, I think I'm at the exact same point I left with Scarlet Nexus. I'm at the last boss. You should definitely stop playing it and then play something else for like four months. I did the fake I did the fake boss scenario, did the whole thing, got the whole bit going, got back to where I needed to be, and then I was like, hey, do you want to go do this thing? And I was like, ah, not right now. I just kind of want to go watch a show and go to bed because that seems like it might you know, do something. And so that's where I'm at with the gunk. I'm at the end, I'm pretty sure. A lot of fun. Uh, nothing spectacular. Nothing insane. But once again, that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for something to kind of cleanse the palate, have some fun with. And it's a cool little, like, not, it's an, well, it is an indie title. It's made by just, you know, folks off in the blue. But, of course, it has the power of Xbox behind it. So it's one of those weird ones where you're like, well, it is, but it isn't because it's got the power here. But whatever. I don't know. I'm having fun with it. Uh, if you like platformers and just like those cool old school 3D adventure type games, the gunk is really, really cool. And it was one I uh, brought up a long time ago, if you remember, Matt, when we first saw it and was like, oh, I don't know, it seems interesting. I'm not really sure. I'll kind of keep an eye on it. Here I did. I did it. And I played it and about to beat it. I could probably beat it tonight, uh, assuming the podcast gets over in such time that makes it feasible. And I think it's pretty much been free everywhere. Like, I feel like we have that on PS Plus also but it's also on games pass so it's definitely free there i yeah, feel like I it's in my it's feel like it's in my playstation library for some reason and i know i didn't like go buy it so i don't know gotcha well either way it is free on games pass for sure i do know that because that's where i'm playing it i'm playing it on my laptop upstairs and having a good time with it i'd recommend if you want something to just have some fun with go give it a shot if you don't like it what's to lose like matt said it's free it's not gonna hurt you and you can just throw it off your computer uh, Halo Infinite, same old, same old. Played a few rounds here, did a little bit of uh, level grinding here, but still not immersed in that one yet. I don't know why I don't want to pull the trigger, but I'm kind of hesitant to pull the trigger on getting in there. Hopefully soon I will. And then last but not least, the weird one. I was listening to a different podcast, Matt, and they were like, ah, oh, I heard this game was going to be, uh, be free on the Games Pass. And they went... Something about Wonderland. And I went, what? Wonderlands? Tiny Tina Wonderlands? And they went, no, that's not it. Wonder Labyrinth? What the hell is that? And then they said Deedlet. And I went, Deedlet? Deedlet's from Record of Lotus War. I, I love that series. I used to watch that all the time. That was my jam. Come to find out, Record of Lotus Wars, Deedlet and Wonder Labyrinth is a game. It's real. It's uh, inspired by, of course, your old Castlevania type games. You know, you knew it was a game already, Eric, because this is a game that I got for free from that ED channel that I followed yes. for a long time, and mm-hmm. I waved it in front of your face, and I did and a little you dance. Went, and, and I, I remember went, that. Look, look what I got a key for. Look what I got. Look at you never played. Look at me go. never Did-do-do. played. So I did play it. I went ahead and immediately went, oh, my gosh, yes, here it is, this thing. I remember. Boom. Popped it on, downloaded it, played it. Haven't beat it yet. I'm, I don't know, about nine hours in. So I'm probably getting somewhere in this game. I can't imagine it's more than 12, 15 hours, but I like it. I enjoy it. I think the control scheme's a little weird. I could probably change it. Ain't going to lie, though, I haven't checked, so I can't tell you yay or nay on that. But the control scheme for me does feel a little off to what I feel comfortable playing with. But either way, I am in, uh, having a good time with it. It's a nice throwback to them old school Castlevania games. Except for you get to be D-Lit and you get to see all your old friends from the wonderful Record of Lotus Wars pop up. But everything's wonky. They 
are doing some funky junk. Some of them don't even know where they are, what they're even doing. Deedlet's trying to like get their heads back on straight, and I don't know where it's going to end. I don't know. I just encountered, uh, I forget her name, the uh, the evil uh, elf. She has the white uh, outfit on. Man, I always forget her name. God. Either way, she's one of the main baddies. She's finally come around, and she's like, Ha, I'm going to explain everything to you. And it was another one of those moments where I don't want to listen to this whole bit and do the whole thing right now. Nah, I think I'm just going to go watch a show and go to bed. My mind uh, just isn't there. And mind you, all this is going on with quarter and stuff. So when everything gets intense right now, I've just been like, nah, I just can't. I just can't pay really close attention to you right now. I'm going to go ahead and log off. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. Just quarter ends fun. You know the usuals. Can't get anything committed to right now. It's, I'm not in a gaming funk, but I'm not ready to get going yet because I just need to get through this. What about you, Matt? Well, we already talked about Encanto, which was fantastic and wonderful. Not too long before that, I also went and saw Matrix Resurrections. And I don't like to be negative, so I guess the things that I'll say are, it made me want to watch the original Matrix again. Because that was awesome. And I remember sitting in the theater and going, this is like the craziest and coolest thing. It has iconic performances by awesome actors and things. And it remind this reminded me of how amazing that was. And I went, I got to go watch that instead but it was a fine show i suppose but then encanto was great and then quarter end hit but before quarter end hit in the video game world i did beat the great ace attorney chronicles it was like literally five minutes after i put up the podcast with our game of the year stuff i went over played it finished it beat it what a fantastic game an amazing game i was trying to consider where to put it on the Game of the Year podcast, and I thought, thought maybe at the time I had put it too high. No, I put it exactly where it needed to be. As much as I did have some gripes with the length of some of the cases in the second game in that pack, the the payoff at the end with Sherlock Holmes and the thing that I can't spoil is so good. And that's what I'm going to remember from this game. Like, It's not going to be the stretches where, oh gosh, people just kept talking and talking. It's not going to be the sort of lackluster end villain who wasn't as cool as I thought he would be, or, you know, any of the... I'm maybe not even going to remember all the characters from all the cases, but what I'm going to remember is doing those dances of deduction with Holmes, the way he would spin through the room, the way the second game made those even better than they were in the first game. And there were so many different poses and camera angles and ways it positioned, like, just the presentation of it. Even going from from the first game to the second, it just upped itself so many times. And, and every time something new popped up, I went, oh, I took screenshots of it. It's on my Switch right now. Cause, so I would never forget the time that the camera angle swept. And now he's doing that, his signature pose that you see him do a million times, but it's in a different way. And you see it like from underneath and he's like a fully modeled character. And it's such a big deal for that series. What a great and fantastic time. So I had, I went whoosh, rocket ship to the moon. And then I went, what am I going to play after this? And I, if, and if my video game collection is like a walk in closet, I opened the door and I walked in. And I, I went, I looked to the left at games that I still needed to beat and complete. Like I had stopped playing for a while and got to get back to them. And I looked over to them and I saw big, long, dark, serious games. And I went, okay, not, I don't need that right now. Let me look to the right to games that I haven't started yet. I bought them and I, maybe I started them just a tiny bit or I haven't even played them. And I looked and I saw long, dark, serious games. And I went, I don't want that right now. And I looked right in front of me at whatever other arm of my gaming collection this is. And I saw long, dark, serious games. And I went, I, I, can't, I can't do that right now. I don't need another big, long experience. It took me 85 hours to beat Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I looked it up on my Switch thing, 85 hours. I don't want to put a big, massive time sink into a game right now. Okay, okay, Matt, be smart. Be smart, I said. Go on Games Pass. There's going to be something. You can find some little kind of something, anything, just to play, to just to just junk food, chew away at for, for a little bit. And I went on Games Pass... And I went on the recently added thing, and I saw, in like pixely letters, a game called Mighty Goose. And I went, what's that? 
It looks like some kind of like 80s, retro, 90s kind of throwback thing. What is this? Because I, I like finding that stuff. I, on Game Pass, it's fun to look at things and see what is that. On the Switch store, sometimes it's just like all hot garbage and that, that weird like Unity engine free stuff. But on Games Pass, it's always fun. So I clicked on Mighty Goose and I scrolled over all the way to the right where the screenshots are. And I saw this goose in big, fat, chunky pixel graphics shooting a gun and something exploding and a big, fat, chunky pixel graphics bad guy. And I went, huh. And I scrolled over a screenshot. And then there were big, chunky, fat pixel explosions all over the screen. And I went, huh. And I scrolled over one more, and that goose was in a big mech suit, like Mega Man X style, shooting a bunch of missiles and a bunch of explosions and big crazy stuff. And I went, I'm giving you a try, Mighty Goose. I, and then I scrolled over and I went, hey, I can even watch the trailer. And I watched the trailer, and it looks like Metal Slug. And I went, that's what I need right now. I need a run and a gun and big loud explosions and loud rocking music and just silly pixel art and just run around as a goose blowing stuff up. And I downloaded it and I started playing it and I went, this is what I needed. I needed big explosions. I needed just running and gunning. And then I got to a boss and it was this huge, big metal slug type boss doing all this crazy stuff and i was shooting the hell out of that boss and it got through these different stages and there's one where you're like on a train in a in a desert wasteland and you're going from caravan piece to caravan piece and the boss is this big giant mecha car thing with like a scorpion tail that's shooting giant lasers at you and i was like this is what i need hell yeah and then that boss was hard because there was like bullet hell all over the screen and then you had to jump and you had to dodge and you had to duck and you could shoot the projectiles but they were coming at you in crazy ways so you had to move yourself and shoot and dodge and oh my god it was nuts i was having such a good time playing that and i went okay Whew, I wiped the sweat off my brow when I beat that scorpion car boss. And I went, golly jeepers. That was fun, and it was great, and it was what I needed. But it's going to be a little tough. I don't want to do tough right now. I want to do, and I've never had this thought in my entire life before, but I was like, I want to play a game that's stupid. I want to play a game that's just dumb. Just silly, fluff, dumb, stupid nothing. And I went, okay, what's, what's in my play later queue? There's got to be something. And there was tactics game, indie darling game, big long RPG, super serious game, all, all this. And then I saw Sunset Overdrive. And I went, this is a game I've started once, and I played through the tutorial, and I went, I'm not in the mood for this right now. And what did I remember about it? It was loud, and it was colorful, and it was dumb. And I went... That's what I need. That's what I need when I'm not playing Mighty Goose. I need this. And I booted it up, and I started playing it, and it was loud and bright and colorful and dumb. And I went, this is it. And now every time I come home from quarter end and I have no soul left in my body, I sit there, and this thing forces colors into my eyeballs. And it's so fun. It's, it's the kind of game that I don't normally like because it's so referential about itself being a game. Like the announcer talks to you, the player, and your player avatar says, hey, what's all this about? Why, am I, why do I have to learn game mechanics this way? Why did I have this ability sealed up inside me until now? It's the type of stuff I would, say, I would normally say, oh, this is being too cute. I don't like it. It's too hee-hee-ha-ha. Ha. But it works here. It's so loud and brash and silly. And like, even sometimes in the cutscenes, there's a cutscene where, you know, you go up to this guy who's kind of a, like a recluse. He's hiding up in this, this area. He gets the drop on you. And you're like, hey, what do you know about guns, boy? And your character goes, I know about guns. And he points at the screen and it does the weapon wheel selection overlay. And the guy like looks around at it and he goes, wow, you sure do. I'm like, that's awesome. That's perfect. It does this weird presentational stuff that's like... You know, when things happen out in the distance, it does like the like cartoon sound effects, like blah and blah and these like effect lines around your character and stuff like that that I just talked about. I was like, this is so much fun and so silly and cool. And the characters are all referential and talking to each other. Like, I just rescued some girl from a train where she beat up the bad guys. And she goes, hey, all right, I'll meet you back at the base. And he goes, hey, you want to grab a cab or something? She, goes, she says, no, I'm just going to walk away. And as soon as you turn back, I'll have disappeared. So you can just continue on with your other side quests. And then it happened. And I went, that's perfect. This is what I want right now. I want colorful, silly, fun 
dumb, self-referential stuff. I think this is made by Insomniac, so the guns are a lot of fun. There's cool abilities. The combat's really cool. I just unlocked a new travel ability where you're like, you're like bouncing and grinding on a lot of stuff in this game. I just unlocked an air dash, so now I can bounce, bounce, grind, up, jump, air dash, super bounce, boom, 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 flying all over the city. It feels like Saints Row 4 almost. We're like crazy zooming superpowers and these crazy guns and blowing up these colorful enemies. Oh, wow, what a great time. What a great life. Man, I wish, real life, I wish next year, this coming year, could be like that. Colorful and fun and zany and wacky. So that's what resolutions are for. Because you can make the world your own. You can make this year your own kind of year. But you got to look back first. At all those serious dark games, that was last year. You gotta, we got to go through all the resolutions from last year. And then make new ones for this year. What a segue! God damn, I'm good. Yes! Hooray! I did it. No, you don't got to worry about anything, man. Because it's finally happened. I've changed from a, a child of summer to a child of winter. I know that the words I've said over the years, <laughs> what an idiot. What an idiot. Just going back and listening. Oh, I'm going to do all these things. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm just this. I'm so, wow. I'm just so neat. Wow. I hope this year's going to be so bright. Wow. <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. I want to slap him in the face. I listened to the episode and I want to slap you. I wish I could just. I wish I could just go back to last year and punch you because you sound stupid. You sound like everybody I work with. And I don't like you. I want to hear you. I want you to shut up. I want this episode not to exist. I already told you I hate this episode. Uh-huh. <laughs> and that's it. I'm done. You're you're an idiot. You're not going to do anything you say you're going to do. You're stupid. You just, you know what? This world sucks, okay? It sucks. Oh, I'm going to stream again. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not going to stream again. You failed, stupid. You never even got it out. Well, because I was trying to get the grass. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. You're a failure. Oh, man, I'm working out. I'm really good. This is going to be a Shut up. I, I lost <laughs> zero pounds. I gained zero pounds, but I lost zero pounds. Failed. You suck. Oh, but I'm right there. I was, I was getting hyped up with this pe- Shut up. You did that for like a week week and a half afterwards that's it <laughs> don't even you're done i don't like you you say dumb things that annoy me and make me angry and anxious all year long and i'm tired of hearing it I'm tired of it what else did you i'm gonna play indie games oh well you did you did that one okay you did that one good good job eric way to Pat play head, some eric. video games Pat on the head. you played video games i I guess that's the highlight of your year. Oh, I'm going to keep on going and keep it up with the biggest games. Yeah, you did that too. But pat that's just head. doing pat on the, the head, pat on the head. That's the thing you're just supposed to do. Uh, you you do a freaking podcast about gaming. No, duh, moron, that you should probably play the games everyone wants to talk about and play so that way you can go ahead and have an opinion on them. Smart idea. You did that at least. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. What else did you promise? Oh, God, that you'd play Bloodborne and all these Demon Souls games? You're stupid. You're stupid. Why would you say anything? Matt even said, don't say it, Eric. He even said it. He said, Eric, don't say these words because it's stupid and you're going to hate it and you're going to be upset about it. And here I go, I'm going to do it anyway because I'm Howard Jr. and I'm going to do it anyway. And I did. I went and played four and a half hours of Bloodborne. I wasted four and a half hours of my life playing Bloodborne just to go, yeah, this sucks, and I don't like these games, and I don't know why I would say I'm going to play these games, because I'm stupid. This was the part of the show, if you weren't so down already, I, this is the part of the show I was looking forward to, because I was waiting for you to say, yeah, and then I told myself I'd do that, and I was going to yell out, and how'd that work out for you, buddy? How'd that work out for you? Now here, <laughs> <laughs> I will say, obviously, I don't like these games at all, but just, it was like, Three days ago, because I, f- I follow Games Done Quick on YouTube. I t- I've talked to you about that. Mm-hmm. They uploaded a speed run, a hitless speed run of Dark Souls 2. And I went, okay, here, I'm going to be Eric, but in a smarter way. I'm going to watch this guy play this and maybe see what all the fuss is about. Oh, I can't stand it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, it's just blech. So I feel your pain to have actually downloaded and started playing it. Because even just watching it, like I was watching it at work 
like as as like you know my 15 minute break that I allowed myself for lunch because I had to handle all this other stuff. I'm like, all right, I'm going to do something. I'm hating this. I'm supposed to be enjoying my break. I'm just angrier watching this character run around. And, oh, I picked up a, a fragrant branch of yore. As soon as he said that, I just wanted to throw my phone out the window. Hey, I picked up a rock. And then we're going to change, trade this Rocky into some guy way on the other side of town for a, a biscuit. And we're going to use this biscuit. Hey, hey, look at this cool pit. Isn't this cool? It's such great game design. They designed a pit. And you just have to, you have to get to the bottom of it somehow. So you got to like build your character up so you're strong enough to fall down this pit and not die. Isn't that the coolest? Isn't that the greatest? Why would that be cool? Not, Why is that cool. great? I don't understand any it's of this. It's boring, it's ridiculous, and it sucks. <laughs> God. You know, for everybody who loves those games, just whatever. Great. I'm so proud and happy for you. But God bless. They're not fun. I, they're just not. They're not fun. I was just going to say, more power to you. If you love the Dark Souls games, the Soulsborns, and all the Souls likes and things, great. I'm happy that you have a game that you would love. I just can't. I can't even look at it. I can't wrap I can't my head look around at it. it. Yeah, it's and the the worst part of it, the worst part, man, is I'm hyped for Elden Ring. No, I you know sp- better. You're supposed to stop. I'm an, no, I'm an idiot, and I know. But everybody, everybody, in every site and every freaking thing goes, hey, everybody. Every year, do you keep thinking you should try the Souls like games? And I go, yeah, I kind of do, even though I know better now. I'm I'm an idiot. This one really, for reals, this one's for you because it's open world. So, like, if something's hard, you don't got to go do it. You can just go do something else. Go off in the open world and have fun. Yeah, go get off in the open world get killed by a rabbit on the other side of the damn world. And then turn a corner and a whole dragon's just going to eat you right out of the blue. Yeah. Or or find a knight that's, like, ten stories tall. And when, instead of just, like, a whoosh attack that you could dodge, he also, like... I saw this in Dark Souls yeah. too. Oh, yeah. He like winds up and he slides. He just infinitely flies at you until he's in range to hit you. And then you have to dodge in that split second time. And otherwise you're freaking dead. It's ridiculous. But you could have that experience in an open world. No. All these different things could kill you. And I'm like, stop. Just stop. Eric. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> you got to stop it. <laughs> People are talking about these games. They love them. Let them love them. Let them have a good time. Stop trying to get in on this thing that you just don't want to do you don't like stop it go play some other games you do like and be in a conversation with those people okay i got it for you eric i got it put it in the call of duty bin yep there it people is. love call of duty you don't like it you i don't, don't like play it. it i don't play it period there you go put it in call of duty bin it's souls souls slash call souls of duty like that's what it is call of duty boop there it is just lumped in there new year's resolution you know Maybe that'll be one. We'll there you go. Here's the solution. Don't play Elden don't Ring. Play, don't play. Don't even. Don't think play about Elden it. Ring. Don't play Souls like games. Don't even think about them. That's it. That's the end of it. But that was it for last year's. I believe. Maybe I don't know if I missed one. I don't think I did. I think I, I covered think so. them all. So the two game ones covered. Did them. Everything else failed. Done. You know what? I know what this world is nowadays. My eyes aren't gleaming. There's no fakeness there anymore. I know it's a dark place. Or blades, knives, skill sets like that are more important. I don't. I don't need to have anything good, anything great. You know, I don't need these lofty dreams. No, Eric. The world isn't Dark Souls. The world is Sunset Overdrive, where everything's bright and colorful and shiny. And if you know what, if you do fail your resolutions, like I failed most of mine too, you just put that in the back. You put that in the rearview mirror, and you go sliding. You go grinding. My character is barefoot, and he like grinds on rails all the time. Does it make sense? No, it doesn't have to make sense. You can dress yourself up with a narwhal hat. Who cares? Because it's just the world. So when I did say I'd be down ten pounds by March, and I totally failed that, who cares? <laughs> I did. I didn't lose any weight. Actually, that's not true. I did like fluctuate ten pounds here and there as as I got sick and my body had problems, but I haven't gained any more weight than normal. So I'm in the same boat as you. We failed, but we're a success because we're still here. I had a streaming goal: stream twice a week and not stress about it. I did some of that. I'm gonna give myself a fifty percent on that. I streamed twice a week. Quite a few times back all over over the old past year. But you know what I did? I stressed out about it. And then I stopped streaming because I was stressing out about it. That's dumb. Whatever. Made some progress on that. Beat every game that I start. I'm going to give myself 70% on that. Because there were a lot of games I started and didn't like. There were a lot of games I started but fell off on to play another game that I did beat. Played a lot of 
Games Pass games, play one per month, absolutely did that. Played and beat or played and put a crap ton of time into. So look back with rose-colored glasses on, Eric. You know, you know, you know what? They make those cards that have like, it looks like squiggly lines on them, but you put them behind that like red shield mm-hmm. and it does like the, oh, look, that's the secret text that was on the card. Yeah, uh, the secret, mm-hmm. it shows you something. Look back at the past with those glasses on and that the only squiggly stuff you see is the stuff you did right. Oh, wow. There you go. Whoa. I didn't even make those old resolutions. <laughs> look I can't at that. read this anymore. I just played lots of video games and that was great. That's what I was supposed to do. That's what I Hell said yeah. I was going to do. Oh, I'm so wonderful. You did it! Oh, my God. No, it it did not do it. Did not do it. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. With that being all said, this year, I ain't making no rules. I'll do whatever the hell I want to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to do what I want to do. I remember a day when I used to be Smiley Face Eric. Mm -hmm. I used to be Smiley Face Eric. Laughter Jones. Didn't give a crap about nothing, basically. Just Laughter Jones. Ha, 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 ha. Moses in the ceiling. Bad news bears hopping down. I never cared. I thought it was funny. That was funny when we got screwed over. I thought whenever something went wrong, didn't care. Laughed it off. Everybody else, they were miserable. I just went, lol. <laughs> That's Winter Eric. Winter Eric died. I don't know how or when, but Winter Eric died. Winter Eric has to come back. Went to Eric, who just went, eh, you know, surviving. That's all that matters. I don't care how many games I play. I don't care if I stream or I don't stream. I don't care if I'm fat, skinny, in shape, out of shape. Who cares? Winter Eric doesn't care. You know what? Winter Eric, (laughs) surviving and smiling. That's all he cares about. That's my New Year's resolution. We got to find Winter Eric. Where'd he go? Did he go to the Antarctica? Did he go to Greenland? I don't know. But he took off, and he left this hollow, lying, sad sack of shit behind, and we got to find where the true Eric went. We got to get him back. That's what my New Year's resolution is, is to find where Winter Eric went and bring him back. Incorporate him back into my soul, so that way I don't care about none of this stuff, and I just do whatever the hell I want to do, when I want to do it, and have fun doing it. That's one of my resolutions this year. That's not a bad one. That's not a bad because you ended it on a good note. Do whatever you want and have fun doing it. That's something you and I have talked about a lot over the past like tail end of this year, when we were talking about, oh man, you got to play that game. We got to got to get it done. Got to do that. Got to make progress. No, you just got to have fun. I'm gonna sunset overdrive this year. That's that's one of my goals. It's it's basically the same boat. I get out of work and I'm mad. I'm, I'm pissed off about this this stupid thing. I gotta find. Old school Matt. Old school Matt had a good time all the time. You and I had great times all the time. Sometimes I play my games and I don't have a good time because I'm stressing about what I got to do here, there, and everywhere. No, we're not doing that anymore. We're not doing that this year. We're going to have fun. That extends to everything. I want to have more fun this year, have more experiences, smile more. I don't smile very much anymore. I don't laugh a lot. So that's that's going to encompass everything too. Video games, real life. I'm going to see more shows. I'm going to enjoy the movies. I'm going to go to the movies and just have a great time. I love doing that. I'm going to see more shows. I love doing that. Getting out of the house, doing this and that. I'm going to apply that to streaming too. If I feel like streaming, feel like playing a game, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to have fun. If I stress about it, I'm not going to do it, so I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to go, am I going to play a game for a while? Yeah. Boop. I'm on having fun. Or if I don't feel like it, I'm not going to do that today. But I'm not going to worry about it. I know that was a resolution I made last year and didn't follow up on. You're just playing games with friends. That's all it is. I don't know how to close it out, but I want to be, I've said this before in other years, I want to be more positive and I want to bring that to all these other aspects too, including streaming. Just yeah. be positive. Just fundamentally fun. change you, which will then change everything and every aspect of what you're up to. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same concept when I'm talking about finding a winner, Eric, just getting back to it, doing what I want to do. It's the same thing. If I'm going to stream, I'll stream. I don't care. I don't have to. If I want to, I will. If I don't, I'm not going to feel bad about it. I'm not going to think about it. I'm not. I'll just do what I want. Period. I'm going to play the games I want to enjoy. That's it. Now, on top of that, I will add this one. This year, I don't want to say this is too strong. It's not going to be the year of the Switch because there's too many other good games coming out. But I want this to be a year of catch-up on the Switch. I have Xenoblade Chronicles I never finished. I've got like 42 hours into that game. Never finished it. 
I want to go back and finish it. Fire Emblem. I've got about 20, 30 hours into that. Go back. I want to finish that game. It was a great game. I loved it. I want to have fun with it. I've got Super Lucky's Tale that I've got about five, six hours in. Need to finish that one. I could go on and on. Metroid Dread, I have about four hours in that. I need to finish that game. I got a million Switch games that I'm like in the middle of all of them. And for whatever reason, I just don't finish them. I don't go in and actually, you know, seal the deal. So this year, with my primary objective in mind, I hope to uh, pop the switch on the main screen down here a little bit more and just go ahead and have some fun with it. Because for me, handheld is a pain in my butt. I ain't going to lie. That's just the way it is. I don't like, like, maybe I'm weak. I don't know. But holding the screen, like my arms just instantly start to irritate me. And then instead of having fun and thinking about the game, I start to go, man, my arms are annoying me. My arms are annoying me. Eric, you should stop because your arms are annoying you. Why would you keep doing this thing? And so then I don't even have fun. I got a prescription for you here, Eric. Is you either – I my Switch case, it has like a little fold-out thing so you can just set the Switch on it. It's like a little stand thing. Mm-hmm. Or you just kickstand it and then you free, free Joy-Con control to Jones it. And you can sit however the heck you want. Hands back, hands up, arms akimbo, arms just laying down wherever. It's not to make this about me, but that's one thing I love about the Switch. Like when I was playing Greatest Trinity Chronicles, I don't have to have my hands like held like this to hold a controller even. I can just – one Joy-Con's over here and one Joy-Con's over there, and I'm just just whatever. There you go. Just don't hand hold it, tabletop it, and then you can just kick back and relax wherever you're at. And maybe that's it. You know, maybe at like the lunch times at work, pop that sucker up on the table, go to the kickstand, take the old Joy Cons off, and just kick back and play it. That would be way more comfortable, way more fun. And then, of course, like I already told you, just I got the um, the little system down here to pop it in and go ahead and put it up on the big screen. And so that's the other route I want to take. But of course, the hindrance to that has always been if I'm down here, this is where my PC is, this is where my PS5 is. I keep always just naturally going, let's just turn one of those on. Because there's always going to be something on one of those two systems to do and have fun with. But this year, with primary objective of mine, I want to try to catch up on all my Switch games and beat the ones that I truly wanted to beat and have a good time with. And that way I can feel confident that the Switch, you know, was... It is awesome, but you know what I mean. It was worth it. It was something I should have done instead of me always going... Man, you you invested all this time and money, and you keep not beating these games and finishing them. Why do you why why do you keep buying more? Are you are you stupid? Once again, are you stupid? What's wrong with you? Slapping the head. Wham. Since you're talking about video games specifically, hey, it's time for me to reveal the resolution that I wasn't going to talk about or I didn't talk about before the new year came around. That is to not buy any more games other than like stuff for the show or stuff you and I are definitely going to play together until after my cruise from March 14th to the 18th. So I have three months of I can't buy any new games, period. And this started a while back. This started like in November, and I went, it's official, I gotta stop. Because just like you with with the Switch, I'm in the same boat. That that left-hand side of my walk-in closet of games that I looked at, those were all on the Switch. There was Fire Emblem. There was both of the Famicom Detective Club games. I can't even remember all the other ones that are at like not even at the end of the crossbar, but you go down at the bottom of the library that are down there that I haven't started or played or finished or whatever. So that's going to help with that. And it's also going to help with a carryover resolution from last year, which is to play and beat or play and put a bunch of hours into one Games Pass game per month. Well, that's the only way I can get new games. That's what Sunset Overdrive and Mighty Goose are. They're free. I'm not spending, you know, I'm technically spending money, but it's not really money. I'm not buying a game and then going, okay, cool. Ha, throw it in the backlog forever. So for these three months, I'm not buying anything new. So I can either get new experiences on Game Pass or PS Plus or any other service like that that's free, or I'm clearing out the backlog. And that's it. I'm not going to stress out about it. I'm not going to, what am I in the mood for? This game. Because, you know, when I'm done with Sunset Overdrive, I'm probably going to want something with a deep, dark story, and I'm going to start up Famicom Detective Club, or I'm going to want a visual novel and do that, or I'm going to get into Persona 5 Strikers because you've been telling me how damn good it is, or finish Scarlet Nexus because I'm going to want a steak dinner after just burgers and fries all the time, having a great time. 
So that's that's the big one. No more money on games until after that cruise. It's not because I need to save up the money and stuff. It's just, Eric knows this. I've been thinking about this for a long time. We get so many free games on Steam and Epic and Game Pass and PS Plus. Our libraries are ridiculous. How long could I go? How long could I go? Here, three months or two and a half months. That's how, I'm go- how long I'm going this year. There's one. Boom. Yeah, it's not a bad one, man. It'll, it'll help you get caught up. The only hindrance will be, of course, the Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. But that comes out, I think, like the week afterwards. So it's perfect. It's perfect. So it's, uh, yeah, it comes out right after you get back. So I think you're all right <laughs> in that. Uh, the, uh, we'll talk off air. There's one title that might be a potential game for us to play together. Hmm. But, uh, you know, it could it could be held off until after uh, your deadline anyway. But we'll talk about that another time. I dig it. I dig that one. And my last two, one's quickie, I'll just lump in with the bigger one, is my the one I have every year. Well, at least last two years. And that's to play six more indie titles this year uh, because it worked out and it, it went great. You know, that was an easy task and it felt good playing some games that I would normally just look at and go, yeah, you should get, you should play this. And then just tossing away. Instead, I actually stopped and played a few of them. And had a wonderful time. I think there was only one of them that I was like, man, that was Maquette. And that was still fun. Don't get me wrong. It, but that was the one I was kind of eh, I could have probably just passed over this one. It wasn't really for me. But all the others, great time. Glad I played them. Short Hike especially. Just for some reason just sits right up there in the top of my brain. Carrion's another one. That's, that's debatable indie. But you know, I still consider it in that, that bucket of just indie titles. Fantastic title. I even got it for free. It was one of those ones you're talking about. Just boop, right there. Boop. Epic was having some big thing where it's like get uh, get ten. Uh, what was it ten bucks for free? And then it had a super sale, so it wasn't free, free. But I think I paid two dollars and thirty nine cents or something like that. It's free, people. If you can't find two dollars, holy crap! I'm gonna jump in and say that's like the one exception to my rule because I haven't bought any games other than. Like Epic did just have that ten dollar coupon, but mm-hmm. you have to buy a fourteen ninety nine game. So I did spend four bucks. Yeah, I don't count that. No, that's a that's a big difference from seventy. Yes, if I paid four bucks for this and then don't play it for three months, I'm I'm not going to feel bad. You so go return a point. few bottles to yeah. Meyer, and boom, you got four bucks. I guarantee I got fourteen fifty right here in these mm-hmm. bottles. Exactly, and that's what I'm talking about. So things like that. It was I liked. I liked that uh, New Year's resolution. It felt good. It feels right. So I'm bringing that one back along with the other one. Play, try to play all the biggest games that are out this year. And if I can't play them or they're just not for me, which harkens back to my primary, like Elden Ring, watch them. Because you know what? Me watching some Dark Souls, me watching some Bloodborne, I enjoy it. I like watching people play these games. I just don't. They're not. I just can't do it. So that's what I'm going to do. This year I'm going to play and or watch all the biggest stuff, just like I have in the previous couple years, and have a great time with it. That's my shorty. And my last primary, my big one, is this year I want to turn the basement. Not, I'm not going to, you know, this ain't the dream I, I told you guys about. It's never going to happen where I get someone to come down and actually turn this basement into, like, the prime, the awesome, super cool, you know, streaming gaming setup no my objective is to turn this basement into a respectable solid themed environment that's it not going to be completely set up it's not going to be like super all the colored lights and you know leds all over or anything wacky or strange or cool like that but i want to get this basement fixed to the point where it, it it feels like it's themed something's that when you come down here it's this is what it is Instead of, like I said, every wall's got random, strange craziness all over the place. So I want to do that this year. I need to get off my butt and fix it, you know. And obviously that means cleaning up the wires like I've told you about. Getting some of this garbage set up that I've been sitting here staring at forever. Just cleaning up in general. That's my goal is to get this basement rocking and rolling this year. And feeling like a a normal home instead of a, a weird, I don't know, circus of stuff down here and speaking of rocket and rolling i made this resolution last year and like the year before and every single year because it's the resolution that everybody does make but this year i got to do it because the tail end of this last year i've been 
I don't say stuff on the podcast about this, but I get, I've been like sickly for in weird ways and I got to get that straightened out. And one way of getting that straightened out is being healthier, working out, doing all the stuff. Now I always hear people say vague goals, get vague results. You got to put down a number and a town and a time and a this and a that. But when I don't hit that number, I just go, okay, well, we're just stupid. It's like we always talk about, I'll just be stupid for two weeks. I can't do that. So I'm going to, This year, try and get in better health and condition and hopefully make that go away. Because I've had two people now talk to me. One person who said, hey, seems like you've been sick a lot more lately. You got to take care of yourself because we need you around over here. And I went, wow, nobody's ever said something like that to me. And then when we hung out with James, we were talking about that stuff. And he literally said, man, you got to lose that weight, dude. He's right. I can't write down like numbers and say I'm on here. I'm going to be down this much by that much. But if I'm going to be around to keep doing this podcast forever, I got to get that ball rolling. I'm going to get the ball rolling. I like though, (laughs) whenever we have resolutions, it's like, yeah, we're going to do that. But start next week though, because quarter end sucks. Quarter end sucks. Because I've had this resolution percolating Uh in my brain in the last like two weeks of December. But if I start pushing that ball, it's going to roll right over top of me for quarter end. So start next week, and that's what everybody says, start next week. But literally, start next week. Getting on the horse, even if it's little baby steps at the time, I got to do it. So I'm going to do it. That's what's going to happen this year. And that's going to tie into that first one because remember when we were super happy, Eric, what we were doing all the time, working out, feeling good, working feeling out. right. Uh-huh. Feel good in yourself, in your human skin. So that those two are going to tie together, and it's going to work out good. I'm going to do it. I'm 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 grinding barefoot down a railing right now. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to jump up and I'm going to air dash. You guys are going to be like, "Damn, look at that guy!" <laughs> I'll, t- I'll tell you this last away. thing. I think I think this is the other part of it is we always end up having to do this show right in the middle of this quarter end. Mm-hmm. So it's always you're starting off in a, in a bad area. You're starting off down in a hole, mm-hmm. and then you're like. All right, I can see it. The light will be great. It's going to be fantastic. But then we end up hitting Taxan, which yeah. ends up being another hole right in front of us, the, the start of this hole. I'm happy. Everything's great. Boop, right back down. So it's a funky spot. Yeah. It just sucks. But that's no excuse. It is an excuse. You can do what you want. Be who you want. That's why Winter Eric's getting found this year. He's coming back. I can't wait. But I'll also say this. There's one last thing we said last year. Oh, and I also can't wait till you know, when this uh, quarter in tax is over, we got to get together and actually, like, have a talk about where we want the show to go, what do we want to do with the year, you know, is there any cool changes we want to make, any ideas we have. <laughs> I ain't talked to Matt one time about the show all year, period. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That's not true, because we did <laughs> Well, the first... <laughs> The first, like, fellas get together at the cabin, we went up that one time. You and I sat there for 30 seconds and went, hey, what do you want to do? And I went, I don't know. It seems pretty cool. And you went, yeah, it sounds all right. Let's just keep doing it. So we talked yeah. about it once Terrible. for 30 seconds before we cracked beers, and then the fellas came over and we yeah. had a good time. And it was because we were just actually anxious to have a good time and drink some beers. <laughs> so, went, no, let's not do hard things like discuss the show and figure out, you know, what changes we want to make or need to make or should make, et cetera. Mm-hmm. We should probably do that. Someday we should probably do that. I'm just saying. Winter Eric's not going to ultimately care. But I'm just saying, before he's found, maybe we should probably sit down <laughs> and take a look at it and see what we want to do going forward, if there's anything we want to add to the show. I actually had a really good idea. Uh, I forgot it, but it's probably in the back of my head somewhere. <laughs> so I'm sure my subconscious will figure it out and get it back up into the front again uh, for a nice, cool bit that we could add in for the show. I think it would be a lot of fun. But, you know, that kind of thing. You know, We used to do that two to four times a year mm-hmm. back in the day where we'd get together and be like, all right, here's a whole list of goods, bads, ideas, anything we want to say and do. And now we're just, we don't do any of that. We just, you know, we make the show, we do the show, and that's that's what we do. So maybe we'll change that. Maybe maybe that'll happen this year. Maybe that's the year. This is the year where we start looking at all those algorithms and we're like, oh, well, based off this form and this factor and this wording, you can get this viewership and then this thing will happen. And all of a sudden, maybe we'll go, tick, 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 tick. 
up up the ante. I don't know. Who knows? I know there's a lot of magic involved. I've listened to people talk about it. Maybe we should learn what that magic is and how to force people into hearing these episodes, whether they like it or not. You know what I mean? I know there's magic out there, but the only <laughs> all my long form YouTube people, they'll like three or four times a year they'll put out a thing saying, Hey, the algorithm just deleted all my views and now I don't get any money anymore. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, help me out. And I go, Oh no, I don't want to know about this algorithm because it's gonna screw me over. I don't like yep. it. I don't it's want it. It's gonna be miserable, it's gonna be sad, you're gonna have to change and TikTok apparently is like a big factor in all of us now, and there's no way I'm touching that. I d- <laughs> Spring Eric and Winter Eric, neither one of them would ever even think about it. It's impossible. I'm not putting this on no tox or no ticks. Nobody gets mm-hmm. to look at this. Or you know what? Maybe they have workout content. There, it's, it's, it's my tock tick. It's flex time with Uncle Matt. Weekly flex there time. That's Friday flex. Friday flex. Is that a thing? Ooh, I don't know. I don't, who knows? I, I am clueless to TikTok. But I hear it's a big thing, and it's how you get your uh, views over on the Twitter, Twitch, everything else up. So I don't know. Maybe that's something we do, Matt. Maybe we actually smarten up and get in on this whole thing this year but we'll see i just wanted to throw it out there that was another stupid thing i said last year like how we would actually get together and do things and stuff dumb idiot but what do you think we should do out there in podcast listener land i know you guys got the ideas you guys know the algorithm dude steve cadwalder you're a smart guy you program robots and things you do computer languages and coding yeah reprogram us there you I, go. No, wait, wait a minute. I was just going to say, <laughs> write us a new algorithm that gets us all the views. I don't, I don't want to get reprogrammed. I'm you need to be downhill. reprogrammed. I'm, you need I'm it. Shooting, I'm shooting OD, mate, with teddy bear explosions. It's a great time in Sunset Overdrive land for Matt. Oh, no. <laughs> but, hey, I, I mean, we do say this every year, and we used to say it a lot more. But if you guys have any suggestions for the shows, things you want to see, things you want to hear about, things you don't want us to do or hear about or say or think or anything like that, let us know via the email, thirdshiftme at gmail.com, on the Twitter machine at thirdshiftme, and find us on Facebook under Third Shift. You know what? Find us on TikTok. Set it up, Eric. Go on TikTok right now after this. TikTok.com slash thirdshiftme or however you do a TikTok. It's like the like, like tis, tis, TikTok.gg slash invite to – is it like Discord? I'm te- I, I, I can't honestly, even do I don't Discord. Have a clue. I don't know. I don't even know Discord either, and I'm the one who has told us we should do Discord, but I don't even know how that works. I'm clueless. I'm a moron. What do you want from me? I will say this. There's ideas for TikTok in my brain. Because I, I understand. Well, I don't. It's never, never going to happen. That's it's no, never no. going to happen. But I've got ideas for it. So I'm just saying, maybe if we win like millions of dollars and then we don't have to like curtail anything we say or do, I've got ideas. Just saying. Just saying. With that being said, you can also go to Patreon and give us those millions of dollars so that Eric can say whatever he wants to say, and then you'll know. You'll know. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. You do want to know. Oh, want to Steve Just wants to know. He always pay wants millions to know. of dollars, but write it directly to me, <laughs> and I will. I will buy a lawyer to force him to curtail his crazy ideas. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, you know, it's just an idea. You can head over there, throw it a buck in, two bucks, any bucks. It's all awesome. We're starting up a new year. We're fresh. Who knows what kind of crazy ideas and things might happen this year. We had Jim Fronde on last year. It was such a blast. Yeah. It also reminded us, man, we got to get peeps back on the show and have some fun with that. So maybe this year we'll do that. I don't know. We haven't talked about it, but maybe. Any of the who's, it's all up in the air. Everything's fresh. Winter, Eric. Where are you at? I'm going south first, folks. I'm going south first. I can tell you that. I don't know what any of this is actually meaning for the future or the, the, the state of the show. So I'm just going <laughs> to say, hey, we're probably going to be back for the next episode on the 13th of January. So stick around and see if we're still alive and kicking. Or if Eric just – look at him. Look at him. Look at that face. You got your, you got your gut and knife in hand. I was I just going to say, Eric just guts the show because I'm winner, Eric, now. Look at me go. I didn't know that's what that meant. Oh, geez. oh there he goes. Yep. I mean, he just became oh, the Joker no. and cut his own face off. Look at him go. We'll still be here. We'll still be here. But you can find that episode on iTunes, on Stitcher, on Podbean, on Spotify, and on YouTube. And as I always say, hey, I'm just I'm there. There's a resolution. I'm always going to put the hay in. I'm never going to forget the hay. If you like what we're doing and you'd like to help us out, please give us a like, a rating, review, a comment, a subscription, any kind of good thing on any one of those good services because it does help us out. And we really do appreciate it, damn it. Indeed we do. In fact, just the other day, 
I was uh, looking at the episodes, doing some stuff, and I saw those five star ratings and stuff, and I was like, "Oh wow!" And I remembered some moron gave us a one star rating, and I went, mm-hmm. "Dang, somebody gave us a one star," you know? He didn't even have the courage to put words to it, though. It was just a one star. Trust me, I went and looked again. And I went, I don't remember them saying anything. Let me go double check. And I went, "Gosh." Man, if I could just take this knife to that person, oh, I'll tell you what. You know who I bet it was. Oh yeah, it was definitely that person. I know mm-hmm. it was. You know it was. Oh, it I know. I feel like I feel like it in my bones. You know what I mean? But hey, you know what? That's okay. Doesn't matter. Get out there, interact, have fun, do those star ratings. And I always tell you, well, recently anyway, Spotify's doing it now too. Go over there, and give us ratings on there. It's a freaking great time. Hey, guess what? My favorite person gave us a five-star rating on Spotify. How do I know that I know that that happened because there was only one rating, so it didn't show the algorithm thing? It was me. I did it. It was that easy. It was so easy. Even I went and did it. Look at that. So you should do it, and you should do it. And you out there in the back, I see you. I see you trying to trying to hold your phone down. You, you locked your screen, so you, uh-huh. you wouldn't think that it was as easy as that. Go do it. Help us out. Help out your boys. Indeed. Get us started bright. Get us started shooting up to the moon, all right? Y'all can do it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. And as always, with that, there's nothing else to say but... Don't Shut up and sit down.